Hey everyone, how's it going? We're back with another uh, Chromebook here a customer bought me. This is a uh, Dell Chromebook 11 3189 so uh, Some of the first things we did was open it up and remove the uh, right protection screw There's a screw there that holds uh, connectivity or I guess battery or the right protection um, so that has to be removed and then I put a little uh, plastic pick under there to keep it from not getting connection or grounding or whatever and disconnected the battery and we're gonna download a uh, recovery for this laptop and see if we can get into developer mode hopefully we can get into developer mode and be able to uh, power wash it and then uh, reinstall recovery so I'll come back once um, we get to that part all right so we're back here um, I have the battery unplugged for this and I removed the right protection screw one second I'm put this sucker off before I lose it okay so we removed the right protection screw uh, had the battery disconnected for about an hour so what I'm gonna do now oh and we made us a uh, uh, chrome recovery for this laptop so I'm gonna plug it in here and it's hold um, that one. still popping up with this okay we need to get into be able to power wash it so it's not power washing so let me see here and I'll come right back all right so it says system recovery is complete we're going to remove the medium and it should restart by itself Hope it does. Oh yeah, there it goes. The light just went on. Should be popping up here. Hmm, the light's kind of flashing. Uh, let's just go ahead and hit the power again and see what that does. So uh, I think it might have reset, but the real test is after we connect to Wi-Fi to see if it locks again. So here we go. is connecting looks like it's loading okay accepting continue just checking for updates So, okay, setting up the Chromebook, you, oh, sign into your Chromebook. So right here I'm going to put my account in and we should be okay. So that was the super easiest Chromebook I've done, you didn't even need a flashing tool or nothing. And 
other one I did, um, when you connected, um, the one that I had to flash, the other video, um, when I connected, it went back to lock. It would show a lock. That's the reason I had to buy that flashing tool. But this one, nope, was super easy. Just remove the right protection screw. I made a USB with the chrome utility and um, turned it on holding the, the, I guess to do the power wash and it booted up into, it booted up, here, look, browsing, let's see here. Oh yes, right now we're as a guest browsing, but I can sign into my account so I know there's no lock on here now. Oh. So yeah, that was pretty easy. Yeah, thank you for watching comment subscribe all right so yeah where we left off here on this chromebook it was a uh, super easy to get this school account off of it i just wanted to show you that i am signed in i am signed into my account and yeah it was super easy to do right now i still have the battery unplugged and i have it plugged in with this and then all i did was make me a chrome uh, recovery using uh so let me show you here so you go onto your chrome and you go up into your utility thing up here uh you're gonna download a uh, chromebook recovery utility and with chromebook recovery utility then you just make you a usb so you're actually gonna search the laptop right here from the list so it was a Dell Dell and then it was this uh, right here 213189 so yeah you just that's what I made right here the USB I know it says HP on it but that was for the other last video I did last Chromebook I did so yeah you just make the recovery and it went into the recovery wiped it and started up fresh I'm signed in so yeah, super easy. Like I said, you just gotta remove the uh, the right protection screw. So right here, there's normally a screw right in there. So I removed the screw. I even this unplugged the battery, left it, you know, like for an hour just to uh, drain everything. And also stuck this little plastic uh, pick under there so that way this will be sure to separate from the ground underneath. Um, that's how it keeps its bios and yeah that was it so thank you for watching comment subscribe and have a great day